In this video we're going to cover setting up the authentication with the MYB account right uh, desktop version where you've got account right running on a server locally on your network not in the MYB cloud. So let's jump over to the MYB company screen to start the process and here we're going to need to change the uh, API type from cloud which is the default to desktop and we need to put in the uh, URL uh, to your um, account right uh, API. So uh, here's an example of what it looks like. This is just uh, the account right uh, server version running on a PC locally on the network here. So I've just put in the IP address in this case, port 8080 slash account right with a trailing slash. So you would just enter the URL for the location of the, your account right server on your local network. And uh, to test this all out, we just need to click the uh, authenticate button. And that's going to quickly make a request and see if that URL is valid and returns the expected result. Uh, in this case it did, so the first thing we need to do is uh, import a list of company files from your account right server. And because it's running on the lo local network everything's pretty fast and responsive. So here it's it's returned a list of all the company files. So this includes all the uh, templates, all the Clearwater templates for the uh, various versions of account right. So I'm going to choose which one I'm going to work with. So uh, And this is a great way to, to test things out. I'm going to just use the standard edition version, uh, the 2021.3 uh, file. So I'll choose that and because uh, we're using the desktop API we also have to put in the uh, username and password for that um, Clearwater file or the file that you select. So in this case it's just going to be administrator uh, with no password for these Clearwater files. So I'll click OK and now I'm ready to uh, make a request. So uh, a good way to test an actual live request works is to go and download say your list of chart of accounts or tax codes. So let's um, try those out. So let's pull down a list of tax codes because that's a pretty short list. And we can see it's making the request, it's transferring the data and uh, we should get a response with all the list of um, tax codes. And then we'll try some other things like the uh, chart of accounts uh, and categories and templates and so on. So that was successful. So maybe let's try our categories. I don't think we have any in the template from memory. No, that's empty. Uh, we'll get our form templates. Uh, so these are all your MRB forms and finally we get our list of chart of accounts and uh, this will take a bit longer because, oh no, that's come back. Sometimes that can take a while depending on the length of your chart of accounts. So you can see we have successfully made some requests using the credentials for our company file that we've selected here um, using the MRB uh, desktop API. So that's how you set up, authenticate uh, with the uh, desktop API. You generally only need to do this once. Um, sometimes the company files need to be re-downloaded, particularly after an update of the account right application where the company file can get converted to a new file, uh, but that's uh, generally just a one-off process.